What is up guys, Express here and I'm back with another video. Now in this video we will create some anime merch and we will create something like this. You probably see it on screen right about now. And I think the design is really nice, really simple, really easy, but I thought it was something else than just a banner and a head. Without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. Start. So I have this mockup, link will be in the description, that you can use. Normally you put your design not straight on the mockup because just design first and then you place them in the mockup and that's what we're gonna do so i'm gonna start a new file so the file size doesn't really matter right now 2k resolution because that's that's good enough and I, that's pretty big so what i did is i made the background black so i'm just gonna take the black color and take my paint bucket and just fill that in because I'm gonna work on a black long sleeve t-shirt. So what you wanna do is find yourself a nice anime picture that you really like. You can also just take a screenshot from the anime, cut it out with a pen tool and go from there. Now what I did here is, of course, I rasterized layers because I don't really need to edit anything. And you can see here this is cut out. We're just gonna make a rectangle with this um, rectangular marquee tool. You're just gonna make a simple rectangle. Doesn't mean, doesn't matter what size for now, we're just gonna make a rectangle uh, and we're gonna fill that up with just a simple color i'm gonna put white just to see uh, where i put it so take the bucket tool, tool again make a new layer and put a simple dab in the middle so you want to deselect that by, uh, by hitting ctrl d and you deselect it now what you want to do with this rectangle you want to double click that and you want to move the fill opacity and i put a stroke on there if i go too fast just pause the video and look everything again what i'm doing just follow me step by step uh, i go pretty fast because i can't drag this tutorial out too long go then you want to hit ctrl t again and you want to go to the left uh, side and you want to make sure the bottom is closed as well that's where i'm going for also i'm going to make the left side a bit smaller and that's why i'm holding in shift so only the left side moves and now what i want to do is just going to merge these two layers together by ctrl e and i'm going to put them in the middle Okay, and now you need some details of the anime itself or of your own, you can put your own name on there, but I'm, I normally take uh, the name of the anime character that you have right here. So just search that up. You wanna take a white color and you wanna just type that. There you go. What font to use is whatever you want. Um, I'm gonna take Akira, expand. Expanded, but I'll take this font link in the description to download that as well. Then we're gonna hit Ctrl T and gonna turn this around by holding in Shift. I'm gonna put that on the side. So we're gonna make that a bit smaller, like so. There you go. I'm gonna put that right there. This line goes straight through the text. I don't want that, so you wanna take your rectangular marquee tool again, and you wanna just select this whole part and a bit and a bit like so. So you can see that the text is just like the line is right cut out for the part of the text like so what you want to do then is duplicate your text by hitting ctrl j and moving that first layer a bit upwards uh, like so okay you want to make sure that the, that what you want to do is just make that a normal layer so rasterize type and what you want to do is duplicate that again and move that layer also a bit upwards a bit less than the previous one i'm just gonna Make sure the other one is not visible and we're going back to the second one. You want to hit, go to your rectangle tool again and select your uh, first text, like so. And you want to then delete that text that was on top of the first text, if you know what I mean. And you have something like this. Then you want to unlock the other one that you made and you want to select the, origin, the original two you just have, select them and delete them, of course, as well. As I put the name with the, the same font, of course. Now, I did something also a nice effect uh, that is futuristic, um, I guess. So you put the text right there and go to rasterize type. So it's a normal layer, you can't edit it anymore. You wanna go again to your select tool and you wanna select this part. Or like, it doesn't really need this part. We need to find like an R or a B or uh, something that has a, a little um, round edge, if that, if that makes any sense. So you want to just right click and layer via cut. So you have two different layers. You can see one here and one there. Okay. Now what you want to do is with the right layer, you just want to move that slightly to the right. So you have a space between the R. And we just want to fill this up with two simple uh, rectangles. So it's just two simple white rectangles. You want to just take a white and you want to make a small rectangle between them with the marquee rectangle tool. 
like so. There you go. You want to duplicate that, the Ctrl J, hit V to select and go back down uh, to the other part. And now you can see here we have a bit of a problem with this. This has like a slight little bar with less opacity. And this is an easy fix. Select the text, go to your marquee tool and just select that part that you don't like, like so. Okay, you want to do that the same with the other side because that doesn't look right. Make sure you have just selected one pixel. Okay, if you zoom enough, you can just see the pixels. And if you zoom back out, this just looks normal again. So there you go, that's how I made that stretchy looking uh, R. But it, it doesn't have to be an R, it can be whatever you want. Then we go to this little circle I made uh, with the Japanese uh, title of the anime in it. So you want to search up the title of the anime in Japanese. Doesn't, has, doesn't have to be that, but I just did that. You want to go to this tool lose the ellipse tool so you want to make a new layer there you go and you want to draw a perfect round circle hold and shift and just drag along and you have a perfect circle there you go you want to go to your type tool and you want to just click inside this circle if you can see uh, the little type tool effect changes when you go over the sides of this circle there you go, and then you need to click. If you go over it, it changes to that. If you go on it, it changes to this. And if you go off it, it changes to that. If you know what I mean. If you change in it, you will type in the circle. If you, if you go on the outline, it will type on the outline. Just type on the outline and you will see it will automatically type on the outline. So I'm gonna make the size of the font a bit smaller and I'm going to paste my Japanese um, text here. I'm gonna put a dot behind it. I'm going to duplicate that again. Okay. And I want to just paste that a couple of times after each other. So the whole thing is filled in. If you can see, they just don't reach. Select everything and make the whole text a bit bigger. Just not too much. Like something like that. There you go. And yeah, it's like it's nice, perfectly together. So you can see now we still have that white circle behind it. But the thing is, once you clicked with the type tool, it makes a new layer that you can edit. So you can just remove the ellipse tool that I just made in the beginning and you just have the text on its own. So now you can put that anywhere and everywhere. You select your character. I'm going to click on this little circle and I'm going to gradient map. And now you can see everything is just white. That's because the gradient is white. So you want to click on this properties tab. If you don't have the properties tab open, you want to go to window and search for properties. If it checked, then the properties is open. If it isn't checked, then check it. So properties, go to properties, click on this little white bar, but it'll probably be too black to white if you have the basics on. So I will use this um, gradient that I made in the previous video. So if you want that gradient, Go watch the previous video or make your own gradient. It doesn't have to be this gradient, but I think I thought it looked pretty nice. I thought it looked pretty nice and I'm going to put a clipping mask on top of that character. So you want to hold in Alt, go to the gradient layer, go above the layer that you want to clip mask with the layer that you want to clip mask with. Then you'll see this little arrow with this little rectangle and you just have to click your mouse button once and it will be inside the it will be on top of the uh, layer that you selected. Uh, just looks really sick. If you just want a basic gradient as well, uh, that works perfectly as well. So what I did then, I made a new layer and I made a little rectangle again, like so. Drag that across, something like this. Fill that in with white, made it maybe a bit smaller. Hold in shift to why you want to make it a bit smaller. And you want to move that a bit to the side. There you go. And then I put the date when the anime came out. You don't have to do that, but I thought it was a nice addition. So we just want to type that again with the same font, or oh, it doesn't, doesn't really matter, but I'm going to choose the same font that we're going with all the time of like the, this whole project. Akira expanded, and I'm just going to put that right uh, there. I'm going to make it a bit smaller. On the preview, I also have a lot of text that I just copied from Wikipedia, but you don't have to do that. Um, let me just show you. I just copied the premises of the anime. There you go. And then I made, going to the text tool, I made a little um, rectangle with the text tool. And then I just made the font really small, like three or something like that. I've taken a different font because that font doesn't really work with a lot of text. So I put that there. And then I just put that beneath your character. 
and then I've changed the size to fit right there. There you go. This is the mock-up that I used. It will be a link in the description. You also have something like this. You have the front and the back. Let's start with the back first because we designed the back first. I'm gonna open this map and you can see where you wanna put it. I'm gonna remove the left sleeve and the right sleeve. I wanna double click on this that it says design here. Then it opens up a new file. And if you change anything in this file and you save it, it will change automatically on here as well. So you wanna make, you wanna just move all of this. So I'm gonna just duplicate everything first and I'm gonna control E everything first. So you can easily move this file along. Just drag your file with the move tool all the way up there and put it right, right in the design. I'm going to put that outside the map and I'm going to put that right in the middle, like so. And, and then I'm gonna press Ctrl S to quick save it and go back to the design and you can see it's on this design. Now the problem here is that the hoodie or like the, the long sleeve shirt is in white and I want to have a black shirt so what you want to do is click on the t-shirt you want to click on this little icon and click on invert and once you invert it it automatically changes to a black t-shirt that's that easy so the problem is here he automatically put the layer on a multiply for the blending option but we don't want that we just want to put that on a normal and there you go I think I'm gonna make it a bit bigger and I'm gonna move that a bit up. Okay, we have the back and now we are going to make the front. Go back to your original workspace, um, put it, put everything in a map, just go on the top layer, hold in shift and go all the way to the uh, bottom layer, like so, and put that and just click on this little map. There you go. Now we're gonna start with the front. The front is basically the same um, from the backing, so I'm going to um, speed a couple of things up so it, so this tutorial doesn't take that long so what you want to do is find yourself another render if you're gonna sell merch make sure you can sell the images that you so you want to just put that around here I want to do the same thing that we did with the back so I'm just gonna speed this process up I'm just gonna put a uh, rectangle around it gradient on top of it and text to the left and that's what we did with the back so I'm gonna speed just speed this process up So once you did that, that's just basically that, but for the front, uh, I'm just putting a simple uh, text beneath that as well. I'm just uh, putting her name again. And this time I've taken the color of um, the gradient, like so, and I put that beneath her, made that a bit smaller, like so. And also I duplicated that, moved that a bit down. Um, then I just looked up uh, the Japanese text of her name. So if you don't know how to search that, just go to the Google Translate and um, go from uh, English to Japanese. And then you wanna search a nice Japanese font. But it doesn't have to be Japanese font, but it can. Um, I'm going to space them a bit more together. That's with this VA, I'm gonna make, and make them a bit big, bigger. And I'm going to put that behind this text like so. Also going to double click on that, remove the fill opacity and put a stroke on that. A stroke from like a one. And I'm going to move everything down a bit like so. And that is what I did with the front. And then I'll, uh, okay, you want to merge everything that you just did, like what we just did with the back. Control J, Control E. And what you want to go, you want to go to your mockup. I'm going to remove the back for once. And I'm going to... Uh, um, make sure the front is visible then what I'm gonna do is remove the right sleeve and the left sleeve double click on this where it says design here going over to my project file or my workspace and gonna drag it all the way to that file that says design here I'm gonna put that on the same spot that the original is and then I'm going to remove the original text I'm gonna press ctrl s my long sleeve shirt you can see it's white go over to this little circle and press invert again then you can see that the design here is on uh, a multiply you just want to put that on a normal and there you go you have your sick looking merch right there 
But thank you guys for watching this simple uh, merch design. If you want to know how to sell something like this, let me know in the comments down below. And also, um, if you would buy uh, anime merch from me, let me know down in the comments as well. Always happy to know uh, if you would or would not. Um, really love to see what you guys make with this tutorial. So I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.